Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a revolution in social media. But a revolution in social media that's completely aimed at the real estate industry. You know, real estate operates on its networks. It operates on its value of its agent's name, its brand like LJ Hooker, Ray White, Elders Real Estate, the Trump Organization, some of the other great big companies in the world are all focused on their real estate business. Well, Smack Media is very happy today to be interviewing one of the world's leading uh, agencies in relation to its social media integration. And I'm going to be introducing Chris Laval from Ray White in Mackay City in just a few minutes' time. It's really worthwhile having a look at this interview. It's going to give you a lot of information directly from one of the principals of a great agency here in Queensland, in Mackay, who is going to talk about what he has done, why he does it, and why it's effective. I'd like you to stay to the end of the interview, because at the end of the interview I'm going to give you a piece of information which is going to give all of the great organisations in the world, the great brands, like LJ Hooker, like Elders, and of course the great Ray White Company. So I'm going to give you that information, and the information I do give you is really valuable. So stay with us, have a look at the interview, enjoy what Chris has got to say, and I'll talk to you a little bit later about what the information is all about. It's great to uh, welcome Chris Laval here today. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, Chris, you as uh, one of the experts in the world, I suppose, one of the real estate agents that's really taken social media to heart. And the social media that you're utilising, of course, things like YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and possibly down the track, you know, looking at some other things like... Uh, uh, blogs and uh, some of the new social media as they become uh, of age. So Chris, can I ask you, why is, why is social media important to you and your agency? Why, why have you gone out there and, doing, and are doing things that most people say I want to do but won't do? Why are you doing it? Well I'm doing it because we, we get bombarded every day by information throughout all different medias. And what I find is that in order to interact and engage with our clients and customers and potential uh, clients, we need to sort of touch, touch them in a way that is different. And, and that's what we managed to do over the last probably 12 to 18 months now that we, we really have been working with these, uh, with these social medias. Do you find that the, uh, the social media uh, is becoming more and more important to the business because, uh, you know, quite often a lot of uh, estate agents and people who are, are in the real estate business find that they're looking for a silver bullet, to find a solution to their marketing or, or other principles. It doesn't happen that way in social media, does it? It takes time. It, it doesn't happen that way. What, we don't, most real estate agents will go after the sale. <laughs> they, they'll do whatever it takes to go and get a sale today. As we're taking a different approach, we want to engage with clients that may not be looking to do any transactions in real estate, but hopefully build a relationship with them so at some point in time they'd want to come and engage with us to uh, deal with real estate. And I, and I get from that point of view, it's a lot easier to deal with a client that wants to deal with you as opposed to a client that wants to deal with everyone. So. The old adage of the, the networks working for the real estate agencies is, is gone to another level. I mean, you're actually trying to engage with people, in fact, even a year or two years away from when they're actually going to make a purchase. Yes, absolutely. It's, uh, I will call it fishing upstream. That's the way we look at, the, we look at it. Uh, instead of uh, going to the point where everybody else is, is hunting for business, we simply don't look it that way. We look at you know, one to two years from now, these clients will become a uh, client for life by interacting with us on a regular basis, picking information that they want, not us feeding them information that we want them to have, but more information that they can access when they want it. And I believe that's the way to build a relationship these days.